Medical science is one of the most advanced fields when it comes to science. Over the years, advances in medical science have either made dangerous or ineffective procedures safer or found new ways to solve problems that have been around for a long time. Many of these changes in medicine have been made possible by technology. Today, we will talk about the top 10 inventions in the field of health. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. So, let's get started. Number 1. Medical Thermometer Even though thermometers are so common today, no one knows for sure who came up with the idea. Gabriel Fahrenheit came up with the mercury thermometer, which is still used today, in 1714. But Galileo made the first thing that could be used to measure temperature in the 1500s. The simple idea behind the machine was that the density of a liquid changes with its temperature. Still, because mercury is poisonous, mercury thermometers are being phased out in favor of digital thermometers. Number 2. Stethoscope Before the stethoscope was made, doctors would put their ear to the chest of their patients to listen to their heartbeats. This was a crude and inefficient way to do it. For example, if there was a lot of fat between his heart and the outside of his chest, this method would not have worked. Rene Lanik, a French doctor, had a similar problem when he couldn't tell how fast one of his patient's hearts were beating because the person was too fat. He made the stethoscope, which is a wooden tube in the shape of a trumpet that amplifies sounds from the lungs and heart. This is still the way that sound is made louder. Number 3. X-ray Imaging Without X-ray imaging technology, it would be hard to know how to properly diagnose and treat common injuries like broken bones. German physicist Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen found X-rays by accident when he was studying electric currents moving through a very low-pressure gas. He noticed that when the room was dark, the barium platinocyanide on the cathode ray tube made it glow. Since cathode rays are invisible, he didn't know what they were. Since he didn't know what they were, he called it X-radiation which means unknown radiation. In 1901, he got the very first Nobel Prize in physics for what he found. At first, however, the discovery was met with hostility and ridicule. A reporter for the New York Times called it an alleged discovery of a way to photograph the invisible. Number 4. Antibiotics Most people think of Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin as the start of antibiotics. In fact, the age of antibiotics began in 1907 when Alfred Bertheim and Paul Ehrlich made salvarsin. Today, we call this salvarsin arsphenamine. It was the first drug that worked against syphilis, and it was also the first treatment that worked against bacteria. In 1928, when Alexander Fleming found that Penicillium notatum killed bacteria, antibiotics started to get a lot of attention. Antibiotics have changed the way medicine is done today, and when used with vaccines, they have helped get rid of diseases like tuberculosis. Number 5. Hypodermic Needle A hypodermic needle, which looks plain and works in a simple way, was only invented about 150 years ago. Before that, doctors in ancient Greece and Rome injected fluids into the body with thin hollow tools. Christopher Wren used a goose quill to give a dog an injection through its veins in 1656. Charles Pravas and Alexander Wood came up with the modern hypodermic needle around the middle of the 1800s. Today, these needles are used to give the right amount of medicine during treatment and to get body fluids out of the body with as little pain and risk of infection as possible. Number 6. Spectacles Spectacles are another medical advance that most people don't think much about. There isn't enough evidence to say for sure who came up with the specs. Scholars and monks used early versions of modern glasses hundreds of years ago. They had to be held in front of the eyes or balanced on the nose while reading. There were no arms to anchor them to ears. In the late 1800s, when printed books became more common, the number of people with nearsightedness went up. This led to glasses being made available to the general public. Number 7. The Artificial Heart because it pumps blood to every area of the body and ensures that we continue to breathe, the human heart is considered to be the most vital organ. Diseases of the heart are among the leading causes of death worldwide. In addition to standard medicines and therapies provided by medical professionals, organ transplants are an excellent method for combating these statistics. However, there are a significantly greater number of individuals who are in need of a heart transplant than there are hearts that are now accessible. Although the concept of an artificial heart can be traced all the way back to Jean-Cesar Le Gallois in 1812, 
The first person to make a permanent artificial heart was Dr. Robert Jarvik in 1982. This is despite the fact that the idea of an artificial heart can be traced all the way back to Jean Caesar Le Galois. The artificial heart has evolved throughout the years in ways that have resulted in the saving of countless people's lives. Number 8. CT Scanner and MRI The invention of the CT scanner and the MRI X-ray sped up the search for ways to find out more about a body without cutting it open. This made it possible for the CT scanner to be made. Dr. Godfrey Hounsfield, who won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1979, came up with a commercial version of it. This device could show different layers in different X-ray images. Soon after that, Dr. Raymond V. Demadian came up with a way to tell the difference between cancerous and healthy cells by using nuclear magnetic resonance. This method was later improved and became known as Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or MRI. Number 9. Prosthetics, Bionic Prosthetics, and Implants The prosthesis was a big step forward because it lets people who are physically disabled do more than just use a wheelchair or crutches. Still, the first versions of this invention were not very useful. Over time, prosthesis technology has grown, giving people who use them more freedom and mobility. Bionic prosthetics would come after, and they did so in 1980. Carbon fiber is used to make the modern bionic prosthesis, which makes it lighter and stronger than metal. The durable prosthetic limb is easy to use, has myelectric sensors built in that let the wearer grip and hold things, may use 3D printing technology, can connect to the wearer's mind, and may one day let the wearer feel things again. It will be interesting to see how AI and machine learning help improve bionic prostheses in the future. Number 10. Molecular Breast Imaging Molecular breast imaging is a method for detecting breast cancer that involves the utilization of a radioactive tracer in conjunction with a specialized camera. This is a truly innovative concept. Mammography is still one of the most effective procedures to detect breast cancer in its early stages. On the other hand, it is well knowledge that this test is not accurate enough for some women. Imaging of the breast using molecules could be a useful supplement to other types of exams. In the past 20 years, molecular breast imaging screening tests have gained popularity due to the fact that they are simple to disseminate, patients have a positive response to them, and a large number of individuals can participate in their use. So, these are the top 10 inventions in the field of health. If you like the video, leave a comment and also subscribe to our channel for more top 10 informative videos. Press the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.